Rat King. It's oh, a villain. Definitely that. Yeah, guy. that guy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't Rat know. But... King. We're underway here. An inspiring vantage here from Sean Crum. Here's a shambling vent from Andrew Jessup. Here is a very powerful heart of Kieran. It's an interesting card in the mirror match because some people leave it in, others don't. Because Release the Gremlins is so very good against it. Spire of Industry. Here's Athalia. But part of the reason that you sometimes leave it in is because uh, it's really good. I think the Release the Gremlins concern is overstated now that the deck barely has any artifacts at all. I think when you have this and, you know, Aether Sphere Harvester and maybe some other artifacts that you're trying to do, then uh, I would worry about it. But it's not like Release the Gremlins is that good against Scrounger to begin with. And then if we're only talking about this card, then all right, you get a Manic Vandal. It's like about the end of the world. Hey, sometimes a Manic Vandal is pretty good and also clues, man. You can catch those sometimes. Yeah. I I've had Release the Gremlins for two be pretty gosh darn good in some spots. I know killing a Scrounger isn't all that exciting, but I think it's it's a little better than you than you may realize. Just killing a Scrounger and slowing it down. Because a lot of time post sideboard, some creatures get out of the deck. Yep. So you're not able to bring it back as much. My instinct is just you kind of want you want to de-emphasize a little bit because uh, the post board games are a lot grindier and uh, you know the the game coming down to legendariness can come up. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I wouldn't get away from it altogether, I think. Spire of Industry here from Sean. Uh-oh, just passing on four. No Planeswalker of any type. This could get out of hand pretty quick. Already has. Jessup. The elevator going up on that Nahiri. And discard Inspiring Vantage. Draw a card. Looks like his hand is a lands, an Avacyn, and a Sorin. So Seems to be pretty great, good. Great, great position here for Jessup. Sean Crum is passing. Here's an Avacyn. That's that better be dying. Well, he can't even cast some doesn't licenses. Even, doesn't even black mana. Yeah, boy. Time to draw. Picked up a copy of Art of Karen. Just put that one in the graveyard. Yeah. <laughs> put that. Get rid of that one. In for four. Land six and Soren. You wanted land six. You got it. How about Soren? There it is. The Grim Nemesis. Going to be tough to come back now. Guess he can soar in first and see if he draws something worse. That's fine. It's true. That's true. That's where Jessup will start. Heart of Kieran. See, super yeah. dope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now definitely going to put one in the graveyard. See ya. Draw a card. The power of Planeswalkers, folks. And we are all done here. Andrew Jessup is going to win this match over Sean Crum. Two games to one. Your number one overall C is going to keep it going. He's going to see if he can take down Zach Stern and his White Red Humans deck. And that's the next match we're going to watch because we're going to see if the only hope to stop a Mario Vehicles victory can keep this thing going. I think it's going to be a tough test, honestly, for Jessup. Um, I, the game, it's very rare that, this, that in these kind of matchups where you can really lean on Gideon, it's got to be a lot of your secondary cards. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I think where we've seen Mardu vehicles struggle the most uh, this weekend across the board is just in these hyper-aggressive